What to consider when you're refurbishing the kitchen for a HMO? First of all, know your market. The type of finish is so important, but if you run into students or you run into professionals, the finish is different. Secondly, know what you need to deliver to be compliant. There's strict rules on number of cupboards and number of things like sockets and sinks and cookers and hobs. In a HMO for five people, you will need at least one 500 base unit or a thousand wall unit per person. So in this kitchen, I need to be delivering many units just to hit that mark. The second thing is you need at least one sink and one dishwasher. Now this isn't 100% compliant for five, it's more specific for six. But if you ever rent a room out to two people, you'll need to be meeting this obligation. The next thing to consider is hobs. You need at least one ring for each student. And getting a five ring hob is pretty difficult, especially when you're tight for space and they're expensive. So I put a four ring hob in with a microwave, which is a viable alternative when it comes to meeting and hitting that level of the regs. The next is reusable worktop space. Now, it's around a thousand mil or one meter per person of usable worktop space. But that can be either side of the sink, either side of the hob, or part of a breakfast bar. So getting a breakfast bar in on one full stretch of worktop just helps you tick that box. And then something that you need to consider which is not part of compliance is the lighting. You see so many people put cheap light fittings in, all these closed cup light fittings that you put in bathrooms. Just go that little bit further and put spotlights in. When you set in the scene with the kitchen and paint and tiles, the lighting is the last thing that just sets it off a tree.